good afternoon. We're standing here today in a place where in the last generation has been most associated with activism. Never before, at least in my generation, have I seen activism and the issues that activism propels in such a mainstream focus uh, with so much of America uh, intent on the developments that were happening within these 200 square yards around me. We're standing, of course, in Zuccotti Square, or as we refer to it during the months of the fall of 2011 as Liberty Square. I'm here today with a friend and colleague, Amin Hussein. And uh, Amin, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about exactly where we are today. Uh, we're in Wall Street, particularly in Zuccotti Park. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here, but uh, this is where the occupation began in uh, September 17, 2011. The first people flooded in, and then we've had many assemblies of 10 to 12 people in this whole park that led into the big assembly. Right. And then, yeah, food was there. You were very active uh, during Occupy Wall Street, and, and we knew each other from there. And, and I don't believe it's a stretch for me to say that, um, you know, I, most of us considered you to be among one of the uh, thinkers and organizers um, that we would look to when we, when we were thinking about the movement. Where do you see the movement now, uh, and in what form? You know, thinking about the movement is also thinking about time. And I think that, you know, a lot of us came together with different backgrounds and different experience and activism organizing here and abroad. And that was our strength. Uh, one of our weaknesses is that we didn't have the long haul in mind. Even though we were very strong in the beginning, we should have kept in mind that this is a broader moment and there'll be many ruptures on the series of building a, a genuinely robust movement that can cross a lot of lines, race, class. Um, so those are, those are some of the things. You look at the movement now and you feel like people have gone into their silos, but there's other, uh, there's other portions of our society in the United States that are becoming more active, including Black Lives Matter. When you look at Black Lives Matter, you'll see a lot of the Occupy folks more in a solidarity role within that movement. But if you look at it on a continuum, then Occupy and Black Lives Matter are in dialogue in the sense that we picked up on class and they're picking up on race. Our failure was in the race thing where we didn't make the analysis around class also kind of not just include race, but actually make it the centerpiece, which would have made it stronger for us. But we knew that. And so I see us as like working in our various respective uh, communities but also on a broader national framework and Black Lives Matter has also made a lot of the mistakes that we've made in the sense that it's a learning process but I feel like you know you speak to Frances Fox Piven early on our first week or two I had a meeting with her in the Upper West Side with some others from Occupy and, and she says you know look it takes about 10 years I mean and movements need to keep moving isn't happening. If you had looked in August, people would say, what movement? Mm -hmm. Yet in September, there was one. 